Hey, I am Bryce Vernon, a growth marketer at Zapier. I wanna show you something that I use every single week to create landing pages using AI for all of the templates in the Zapier template library. So just a little bit of context, at Zapier we have multiple products so you can build apps in Zapier. And so I build out lots of these templates like an AI email assistant, contact list, an applicant tracker. And so each of these templates has a landing page. The problem obviously is how can we create content for these landing pages at scale that actually tells someone how the template works, is SEO friendly, yes, but also has that Zapier brand voice. We want it to be valuable and useful. And so I've created close to 100 of these templates and I use a combination of Zapier interfaces form with a 16 step zap to get AI to generate the content in the landing page, just like this applicant tracker template landing page. So today I'm just gonna pull back the curtains a little bit and show you how I do this. We're gonna be creating landing page content for a Google review tracker system that I created in Zapier. It basically takes new Google reviews, brings them into a Zapier table, AI generates a response, and if it's three stars or less, it notifies you, and then you go in and you edit the response and send it whenever you're ready directly from the table using a button. So that's the template. Now, the landing page. How are we gonna use AI to create the landing page? Well, the first thing I do is I created this interface in Zapier that has a form that I fill out. So I'll fill this form out for the review tracker, give it a title, a main value prop, get a quicker first time to response for reviews. I tell it which products are used, which are tables and zaps. Primary product is Zapier tables. And then I put in a summary of what it does. And then here's where I upload an image. This is an image of a Zapier canvas I made. So with Zapier canvas, you can diagram your workflows or how a system or an app works. I take that image and I just drag it in here. And then when I click create landing page content, it's gonna take all of this and go through a 16 step zap that includes AI steps. And those AI steps are gonna look at the image, all the information and create those landing pages. Because I'm using Zapier interfaces, I added a, a little table below. So whenever this landing page is generated, the Google Doc link will show up here. I can look at the content and then publish it out. When I'm done, I just click this toggle to archive that templates landing page. So let me show you what the zap looks like that goes through and generates the landing page itself. So here it is, 16 steps. We'll move through some of these pretty quickly and get to those AI bits. But what this zap is doing is it's receiving that form submission that I just submitted. It's uploading that canvas image to Google Drive so it's stored there. And then it goes and it finds a document that I have created called landing page examples. So this document is a running list of a bunch of the copy for the landing pages for other templates. And so this just keeps getting added to and I go find it because I'm gonna use that in the AI step. So the AI has a reference of all of the landing pages that have already been created that continually gets updated with this zap itself. So we'll get there in a second. It, it finds that document, Google Docs. I have paths set up here just in case I, I someday may run this automation down different paths depending on maybe the primary product used or something like that. But for now, it just goes down this standard path. The first thing it's doing is going into ChatGPT and it's creating an SEO keyword list. What's cool about this is I used a platform called Market Muse. You can go look it up. Basically, you can enter in you know, like review tracker template and it's gonna show you the list of keywords that you're gonna wanna target and how many times those keywords should be included in whatever your content you're creating to hopefully rank for that keyword. So I used a bunch of those examples from Market Muse to sort of keep this conversation 
going with ChatGPT to fine tune this step and so I get a good output. So in order to do that, I just have this memory key SEO and I worked back and forth with this, but the assistant instructions pretty simple, just outputting a comma separated list of those 15 most relevant SEO keywords. That keyword list is then used later on in the zap. All right, let me zoom in here a little bit. The next step is to actually create the landing page. I created an assistant with ChatGPT and really fine tuned it to make sure these landing pages came out and looked really good. The message I send to the assistant is from the form I filled out, right? The template name, value prop, products used, primary product, summary of how it works, and then that SEO keyword list. And then I say, hey, if Canvas image exists, I'll upload it for you. So the assistant is one that is created that can handle files. The new files that are added are one, the canvas image file, which I uploaded earlier in the zap. And then also that landing page examples document that I went and found in an earlier step. And so I can feed it into ChatGPT here. So this step will output most of what I need. But let me show you what it looked like with a live run from that review tracker I just submitted. So it's gonna submit all that stuff from the form, upload the files, and then I look at data out. This is ChatGPT's output. And if you scroll down, you can see the instructions or the prompt I give to this assistant, telling it, hey, you're creating landing pages for Zapier templates, talking about what the purpose is, the information that the assistant's gonna receive, the consistency and structure I want it to use and sort of the process it would need to take to draft the landing pages. So that that's the prompt. It's gonna have the ability to look at the files as well. So when we look at the full response, we can see what it outputs. Awesome, in Markdown format, how the template works. Awesome, it tells you exactly what it does. This is exactly what I would need in the landing page who should use it, key benefits, and it includes the SEO keywords that it, it sort of incorporated and wove in. So that in and of itself would get me super far, but I took this a step further. I wanna make sure that the brand voice is applied, Zapier's voice. So I have a step here that actually takes the landing page content that was generated and applies Zapier's brand voice. I tell chat GPT, what its role is, I give the context about what's happening here, and then I go through and spell out Zapier's brand voice from our team's brand documents. Of things like our goal is to educate and empower people without confusing them. Think about who's reading this, who's the template for, and then in a nutshell, what's the Zapier voice? And then I go through and talk a little bit more about the format, grammatical things to keep in mind. You can throw in so much stuff here. And then I give an example structure that the template needs to look like, which kind of reiterates what it already spit out, but I wanna make sure to get this right the first time around. And then I also give it one more example of landing page content that really embodies the Zapier brand voice to give it even more context. So there's a lot packed into this step that allows ChatGPT to take that template landing page and make it sound exactly like Zapier and be valuable to anyone who comes across it. Cool, so that spits out exactly what we need. I also have ChatGPT create an FAQ list and then it goes through and creates a document. We move it into a public place so people can see it and then I append it, all that landing page content, onto the examples document that we used earlier on, we found that this document, right? So that ChatGPT has a running list of all the landing pages and the content to reference. And so we just keep adding to it. Every time we generate a landing page, it gets bigger and bigger. And then we go into Zapier tables and we, we update the record with that Google Doc link and send a couple messages in Slack. So when we go back into the landing page generator, we can see the Google Doc link appears here. So all we need to do is click into that. And now we have who created it and all that information from ChatGPT in here in a Google Doc for editing. If there's some collaboration, you wanna like pull people in here if you need to. But 
this more or less gets me maybe 95% of the way there. It's got the SEO bits I need. It's got all the sections spelled out exactly how the template works based on the canvas image, who should use it, key benefits. I mean, this thing has everything I could possibly need. The one piece I'll add in here are screenshots to give some visual elements to it. I take this, we use our CMS to publish out landing page content. And then when we go into zapier.com slash templates, we can look at this specific one, the review tracker template, and we can see the subtitle here. We can see all the content spelled out, why you should use it, how it works, the images that I added in, who should use it and key benefits along with FAQs. So that's how I've generated so many template landing pages with the help of AI. This saves me so much time. I, I, I don't even know how much time this saves me. It's such a huge zap that not only creates the landing page content, but uploads images, finds and updates a document, sends messages in Slack. I mean, it, it just does so much for me, which is great. In Zapier, you can just take a whole entire process beyond just using content generation or whatever, and you can start adding bits of automation to get this thing to do way more work for you. So that's just how we do it. Of course, there would be a million different ways you could possibly do this for your own you know, pages that you need to generate at scale. But Zapier can make that process smooth and efficient every single time taking the steps you needed to take. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, comments, leave them below. Make sure you subscribe. I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon.